What is up, everybody? Mikey Darpanza here with Hearts of Iron for Japan. I just noticed this naval operations ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to very quickly get those guys launched and in their boats ready to go. And we're going to have quite the good time. So as soon as... Let's actually just have half attack here and have half attack here. They're not going to get anything done. But so long as the ships land, as long as the troops land. Okay, so they do have people moving in. Okay, so they're they're getting they're they're gonna get invaded. But as soon as they get invaded, as soon as they land, we're gonna have to try and relieve them. So they're trying to stop us. Also, as soon as it, as soon as okay, good. So we're done. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's have this fleet. Where the hell is this fleet? Second fleet, I want you to hold. And I want you to sit right here. So yeah, go there. Where the hell is the second fleet? So we can... If this works, I'm a genius. I'm a genius of naval planning. Oh my god. Please work. If this somehow works, we are golden. But while we're here, let's have delete half of you. But let's also draw a line to get to there. And y'all can start going. The other 12 of you can help with this. I just wanna I just wanna capitalize on this operation. Operation Idiocracy, as I like to call it. I don't like the skinniness of this front line. Light, self-propelled, anti-air. Let's do that. I'm watching this very carefully. We have shore bombardment stuff. So they should be able we should be able to destroy them. Again, just to check, 55.61. They should not last long. They shouldn't. As long as they don't counterattack, we're good. I don't need any of your shit, India. Screw you. So we had, what, 55.61? Oh. 55.92 million. All right. So, this is what we're going to do. Marines, push up Italy. So we're going to delete that. We're going to stop that. Literally, I want you to take all of Italy. And I guess, ah, uh, no, it's just Italy. They don't have any Switzerland. But let's have you specifically, specifically take Rome. Let's have you specifically take this thing. Let's have all of you go. I mean, I think we can move this way. So yeah, Marines push through Italy before their before their reinforcements arrive. Come on. So we're all good. All of y'all attack. Do da 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 bam 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 bam. You see, this is why I do in video games. Whenever I just can't think of anything else to say, I just sing their soundtracks. Which you know, since I play Paradox games, is good because the Paradox soundtracks are very good. But banana. Ba, 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 da. So yeah, we should be beating them back quite badly. They're scrambling to secure everything. And if we can get Italy to capitulate, that would be a much needed deal. So to prepare for this, I want... I want a fallback line right here for all of these cats. all get ready to 
push through probably to Germany because well Germany which if we take Germany to Hungary we strand all these troops all this land speaking of just checking up on the fronts all is well there it's a large river that we've got just everyone's just kind of out where they're supposed to be holy Jesus we got more stuff so let's go down to 10 let's get 50 let's get 50 jet fighters because I don't like having a deficit of airplanes and we don't have a deficit of fighters anymore which is awesome or is India getting invaded or are they actually using their own crap I think they're actually using their own crap like, I think they're industrializing and using their own stuff, which is pretty good. Proud of them. Yay, light tank destroyer. We're getting all these just tank variants and everything. It's all good. So. Well, literally, any, just one person walking to Varna. So. One by one. One by one. The... Saxons disband or die where they stand. Da 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 da. Killing ground, even though you surrender. Turn around, you will never survive. Okay, so we're pushing up through, through Italy. Again, I knew, I always knew our plan would work. By that I mean I had no idea if this would work. Help take that, please. Um. Where the hell is your front is your offensive line? Why are you only doing that? I want you. Red Army. Well, Red Army, since you're wanting to be so ambitious. Go ahead and take Hungary. Where the hell's Who dares wins? Go ahead and do that. Go take Hungary. Green Army is pushing through Greece. Uh, Marines are pushing through Italy. Italia. So let's have you go like here. There we go. Cross is growing Anzio. Speaking of Anzio, uh, we're not quite yet to Anzio. We have a lot of airplanes coming in. But they have air superiority what's air superiority uh they have 6500 fighters in italy yeah i don't think we can we can match that um not quite so there we go with all of that y'all need new orders you two need new orders so what i'm going to do i uh, no we we uh Hmm. So have the blue army almost reaching its orders. This pocket has yet to collapse. Okay. If we can get this pocket to collapse, we would be in fantastic shape. That would help us out tremendously. You know what I want to do? I'm going to put you in this army. And there we go. Middle East. Not really the Middle East anymore. Uh, Italy. That's the Italian front. And this is just going to be the Asia. They, they, er, should I just be as broad as possible and just call it the Eurasian front? Eurasian, no Eurasian. I'm Asian, no Eurasian. Come on, cross is growing Anzio. So we've got a lot of fighting going on in Italy. But the good news is we have a foothold. We're not getting pushed back. And we're doing quite alright. So there we go. All of that. I'd kind of like this Red Army to have a little bit more of a front line. Let's kind of change it up a little bit. See what we can do. And this army. I want all of y'all to I want y'all to do the link up. Let's do like that. Go ahead. 
and start attacking. Also, this army. Okay, so you're covering a very big front line. Hmm, trying to see. I, I would really, I really do want to close this pocket. I just have no idea what to do. Has anyone thought about that? Anyone? Maybe. Bueller. Bueller. So are the tank. Uh, yeah, okay, so the tanks are helping to attack, which is very good. The Balkans are in freaking mess which shocker there right color me shook uh if you're still on search and destroy and you're doing a good job by all means go for it bro make it happen so got crosses growing anzio of course and yeah bulgaria and italy are going to be the next to capitulate we already got turkey the brits and iraq so, Bulgaria should be, shouldn't be too far behind. What we got? Uh, let's get some industrial, in a, uh, regional industrial in integration. Get those building slots. Get all of that good, good stuff. Yes. I'm just most upset that this area is not going differently. Like, okay, so we have a blue army just covering such a wide front line. Then everyone else can't even do this. But I mean, again, if we can, if we focus on Italy, Germany, and Hungary and are able to get some capitulations, we'll, we'll push through. We will push through. Rome is for, Rome is max level forts. Do you have like siege artillery? Siege artillery. What did you lose? You lost a uh, mechanized. I want you to be conservative. Why do we lose one of you? I don't know. I don't particularly care. Don't tell me. Two dares wins. Pause. Let's just do this. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, um. Oh, cancel. Y'all can repair. So. A little salt plan. Ooh, more factories. Okay, what are we hurting on? Well, we're definitely hurting on Sparty, so. Let's get another five factories dedicated to Sparty. And Sp whenever I say Sparty and you're like, what on earth are you saying? Sparty, self-propelled artillery. It's just shorthand. Because I like shorthand. So there we go. Uh, let's get, you know what, let's get 50 Sparty. Let's get everything's in tens. Build factories by the tens now. So, just how we roll in Japan. Anyhow, yeah, you take all of Greece or take all of southern Greece. You know, all of that stuff. Do we take Rome? Hey, we took Rome. How about that? It didn't tell me anything. Anyways. All is going well in Italy. Um, we're doing all, we're doing all right. Win ratio ninety seven percent. We've lost one hundred seventy eight thousand men here. I mean, we've lost almost a million men on the main front. The game is paused right now. That's why nothing's happening. You derp. But anyways, we're we're pushing through Greece. Good. Yeah, research signal companies might as well. Do 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 do. 
Ooh, encirclement! I can buy encirclement. Okay. Um, we've gotten every airplane. Gotten every ship. Got all the land doctrine. You can switch land doctrine. Let's get rocket artillery, because why not, right? Anyways. So we got that. We're pushing through here. The Balkans are quite difficult, as one might imagine. And would you look at that? We linked up. Very good. We did link up all of this. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, please. Come on. Make it count. I really want to watch Italy because I want to see if Italy surrenders. But this encirclement would be massive. I mean, like quite literally, it would be a ton of people. I think we've got him too. Holy shit. If we get this if we get this gap closed, we are golden. Okay, I want one of you to fall back. Don't need to take that. I need to work up. Oh, we did it! Y'all need to take that. Okay, seriously? Everyone push forward. Literally everyone here. Everyone here attack because we might have had the largest encirclement I've ever seen. Seriously, keep the pressure on so they don't relieve them. So they don't relieve. But, man, oh man. This is good. Yeah, we have 24 guys there. We are definitely going to have to rebalance everything after we're done. So we still need more Sparty. We need we need carrier naval power. So let's, let's bump up our carrier plane production up to 10. Because we need... Oh, we need a lot more carrier planes. Considering how many, you know, how many ships we're losing. Uh, we're getting that. Get the Type 95. Get all, get all those old school heavy tanks. What the, what the shit is going on here? Do they have a port? Really? America, can you handle this, please? Can you, like, go do that? Anyways, we'll see if he can handle it. But, the, the, just, the, uh, the mat, just this major encirclement, I mean, just, nut. <laughs> anyway, so, that, that is it for this episode. Ooh, we've pushed up through Italy. Italy is going to fall soon. You know, it's always good whenever I'm ending the episode. I'm like, what am I going to call this episode? And I don't know because both... Well, Italy's probably going to fall in the next episode. So this is going to be the great encirclement. But anyways, that was all the time we have for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. And check out my Patreon page. Thank you all so much for watching. And until the next one, this is Mikey Derpanginator signing out. See ya, nerds.